draw an isometric projection of a square pyramid resting vertically and centrally on a top of a pentagonal face of a pentagonal prism having one of the rectangular face parallel to VP and while closer to the observer. See it is parallel to VP and away from VP. So that's why it is closer to observer. Side of the square base is 30 mm. Height of the pyramid is 50 mm. Side of the pentagon is 34 mm. And height of the prism is 52 mm. So we'll start with this sum. Maximum length is 52. So again we'll draw isometric length 0 to 50 and 0 to 10. 52 we can mark, 50 from here, 2 from here, 50 we can mark directly, 30 we can mark directly, 34, we can take 30 from here, 4 from here. So we need to draw isometric scale. After drawing this, first we will start with helping figures. See, I'll explain how to draw pentagon. So first you will draw horizontal line. How much is the side? 34. Then you take 54, 54 degree. From both the sides. See from here also you take 54. From here also you take 54. Wherever they meet that is a center point O. From O to this and you can draw a circle. We can take this side. And from here we cut on this side. From here you cut on this side. From here you cut on this side. From here you cut on this side. It should come exactly at the top. So this is pentagon. So first you need to draw pentagon. Right. Then we will convert this pentagon into box. LBH. Always remember, first we will always draw a helping figure and then we will convert into a box of LBH. So L is this. This is breadth, right? Okay. So now uh, we can start with the box. How much is this length? This is L. We'll cut L on this side. Breadth. We'll cut breadth over here. How much is the height? Height of the prism is 52. So we can mark 52. We can take 50 from here, 2 from here. We can mark 52. And we can complete this box. Right? Then we have height of 50. So that we can mark it afterwards. So first we will draw pentagon. How will you draw pentagon? Again name A, B, C, D. If you want to name this pentagon, we can name 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how much is this? See, this is A, B, C, D. Right? Length and breadth. Length, we, we have to draw helping fig figure to find out the length. So how, so how much is A to 1? This, this much. So we will take A to 1, we will cut over here. How much is B to 2? We will cut over here. Then for 3 we will take this. B to 3. Avoid taking inclined distance. That would be wrong. So take vertical distance only. Horizontal and vertical distance only for transferring. So we will take B to 3. We will cut here. Take C to 4. D to 5. So we'll get this pentagon. Draw this down. See one of the side of the pentagon is parallel to VP and nearer to observer. Right? This is 30 degree direction of viewing. So we have done this. One of the side is parallel to VP. One of the rectangular face is parallel to VP and nearer to the observer. Now what we need to do? We need to draw square. Right? Now for to draw square, what we will do? We can draw square here also. See what, what we can do? We, we, we have the center point. Right? So from center point, how much is the side? 30. So from center point, we can mark 15, 15, 15, 15. And if you draw, you will get a square like this. Right? So we can draw square over here. Now we, we need to find the center point. So how will you find the center point? See, if you have a pentagon, 
if you want to find out the center so that is pq if you know right this is p this is q right to find the center point o in this case so from here i will take p distance i can write this as s so this is p distance and from here i'll go inside how much i'll go inside this much so i'll get center point o so this is the axis from here we can draw axis you know we we have to go down by how much uh, 52 now i need to draw square pyramid so what what i will do i will take the same distance like see from here from center i will draw a line like this parallel to 30 30 degree how much is this distance 15 so we'll cut 15 here 15 here 15 here 15 here and we'll draw so so we'll get a base of the square pyramid now how much is the height height is 50 so from here we go up by how much 50 we take 0 to 50 or 40 to 10 we take that and we cut out we cut cut over here and we join this See this so we get square pyramid sorry square yeah, yeah square pyramid after that draw the remaining line dark so we are done with this combination of solids where it is coaxial one of the rectangular faces parallel to vp and away from away from VP so it is nearer to the observer so observer is seen from this direction we can do dimensioning right side we can show 34 height height is 52 This height is 50 in the side of the square. I don't have place, but you can show wherever you have place. Side of the square is 30. 